Hey guys, it's Hedgy, I'm back with some more Dangin' Ropa. Uh, last time we finally left the gym after getting knocked the hell out. In this episode, we're about to start, you know, it's like investigating stuff. There's a lot of stuff to investigate. Like, let's investigate these. Metal plate. Okay. Uh, what is it here? Is it still metal plate? Yep. Is it to keep us all trapped in here? Yeah, probably. Let's hit the arrow. No, I don't want to hit the metal plate again. Oh, I, I can't go any further. Okay. Let's hit the security camera. Surveillance camera. I hate the idea that somebody may be watching me right now. We're not allowed to mess with the camera, so I'm better sure I don't touch it. Better make sure I don't touch it, rather. Better sure? Yeah. Okay. Uh, TV. Some kind of monitor. Ugh. Wait, what was that earth for? Yeah, let's go to the door. So it appeared to be the bathroom. Yep, that looks like a bathroom. Huh? It's not opening. Somebody's in the bathroom, sucker. Guess it's locked. Well, I guess I can't go use the bathroom. If I need to go potty, I'm done. There's a piece of paper hanging up on the wall, which says... Announcement from Headmaster Monokuma. Each room's lock has been designed to completely protect against tampering or lockpicking. Remaking an individual room key is quite troublesome, so please make sure not to lose yours. Your room comes furnished with a shower, but please note that the water is turned off at nighttime. Okay. Also, the bathrooms in the girls' rooms includes a lock of their own. Finally, we prepared a small gift for each of you. For the girls, a sewing kit. And for the boys, a tool kit. The sewing kit includes a map of the body's vital organs. One stab will do the job, girls. Oh my. For the boys, we believe a strong, a strong blow to the head with any of the tools should be ample. Don't think, just feel. Let's all enjoy ourselves. What? <laughs> I crumpled up a sheet of paper and threw it in the trash. Sounds fair. So we got a, do we get a tool kit out of the deal? Wait, what's this? It's some kind of lint roller. I guess we're supposed to clean up after ourselves? Makes sense. Why would there... That's a big-ass lint roller, though. Hold on. Uh, let's see. What else can I explore? Uh, there's a couple things on the table here. This must be the key to the room. Oh, that actually is pretty cool. My name's written on the keychain. Which means it must be mine, right? Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, my, uh, Makoto. I better hang on to it for now. Okay, so I picked up the key, and let's check the trash. Just an everyday trash can. I don't see any kind of trap door or hidden compartments or anything. All that's in the trash is the paper I wadded up and threw away. Oh, what? I, I got a coin. Wait, what was that? I managed to get a coin out of that. Hold on, let's check the system. Uh, was it a present? Uh, nope, just a school crest I got in the end of the prologue. Uh, let's see. What are the... What's that thing I just picked up? Uh, let's see. Let's go... Let's try the bathroom one more time to type a key now. Uh, okay, yeah. Still can't. Anything else? The bed, and then the door. There doesn't seem to be anything particularly strange about the bed. I guess the desk? It looks like there's something in the drawer. It's the tool Hey, I found the toolkit! Must be brand new. It's still in the shrink wrap. I don't really need it right now, so I'll just leave it here. Oh, well, I found... I know where it is. That's a good sign. Something on the desk, though. It's a notepad. I guess the school must have given one to each of us. Okay, so that's a notepad. Um, What's left? Just the door, it looks like. Let's go. Looks like this door leads outside. It's locked. Oh, wait, what? So some of the rooms have locks, huh? Wait, what? I think I'm starting to understand. This room must be... The dormitory. Really? We need to read regulation number three to let us know that that's our room. Good job. This is my assigned door room. I hate the wallpaper, by the way. Someone must have carried me here after I fell unconscious. So that answers that question. The next question is... What's everyone else up to right now? That's a good question. Where is everyone else up to right now? There's only one way to find out. Let's get out of here. 
All right, so can I leave now? Oh, I got press B, okay. <laughs> you know, you don't leave by going out the door. You leave by pushing B. I rushed out of the room to meet up with all the others. But there was someone waiting for me there. It was like something out of an old TV show. Oh, for God's sakes, come on. Ah. Oh. Hi. I know that voice says Sayaka. Oh, my goodness. Hi. Oh. Sayaka? Yeah. Sorry. Are you okay? I I'm fine. I hope you're okay. Sorry about that. She had an embarrassed smile on her face. I stood up slowly. Ah. Are you okay, Sayaka? Are you hurt? I mean... <laughs> ah. She's cute. I like Sayaka. Hmm. <laughs> you make it sound worse than it is. I'm completely fine. I know how I look, but I've actually built some pretty good muscle jumping up and down on stage. Really now? That's good then. Um... But are you okay? You know, from a mundo hit you? I mean, I'm still, yeah, alive, if that's what you mean. That's true. I got knocked out right there in front of everyone. I am the ultimate milk toast. I guess I revealed my lack of cool right from the beginning. Yeah. Makoto. Oh my. Oh, um, I'm fine. Nothing wrong here. Don't feel so unsure. I think she wants you, dude. That's good. Oh, that's good. I was kind of worried. Da. Thanks. Thank you, by the way. By the way, what are you doing here? Uh, um. Actually, I came to get you. Wait, what? Really? You came to get me? Um, listen. Well, if you are really feeling better, I was hoping you'd come to the dining hall. Uh huh. The dining hall? I mean, where else do you eat? <laughs> you see. After you got knocked out, everyone decided to go and do their own thing. <laughs> Everyone's like, well, I'm out. <laughs> I love I love y'all's motivation, so to speak. We decided it would be more effective if we split up to investigate. Okay, so they figured it out after all. They're just like, everyone's doing their own thing. So, Byakuyo is right. So, agree we agreed to get together later on and talk about what we each found out. So, does that mean it's almost time to get back together? If that's what's going on, then of course I'll go with you. Da. That's good. Oh, she's so happy. I like her. Okay, bye. It's good. <laughs> I'll go ahead and meet you at the dining hall then. Sounds fair. All right, so we're going to the dining hall. That's that's Mondo's room. Uh, let's see. Whoop. Nope. I don't want to go to the map. Uh, okay. It's just the map. Oh, so I can just pull up the map with X while I'm in the like actually overworld type scenario. That's just everybody's rooms. All right, let's clear the map. It's Kyoko's room. It's Kyotaka's room. Um, okay. I'm gonna guess the dining hall is right here, by the way. You know, the fork and knife picture? For yeah, the fork and knife icon. What was this? That's is that the door? Uh this is where the classrooms and stuff are. I don't have any reason to go that way, okay. I I'm exploring right now, Makoto. You can wait. Bath. Let's take a bath. Looks like I can't get in there. All right. I mean, I know I'm supposed to go in the dining hall, but I curiosity killed the hedgy. I mean, don't you know? Whoops. Push too many buttons. Let's hide the map. I guess we're all going to the dining room. Sure, why not? They don't give me an option otherwise. <laughs> Just go drop your table in there. Like, oh, hi, Siaka. This must be the dormitory, dormitory dining hall. It looks pretty clean, so that's good. Ah, uh, yeah, well, I sure hope so. Er, uh, I guess that's not really important right now, with us being prisoners here and all. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, that's true. Nobody was there waiting for us. It's just me and you, Sayaka. We don't really have much choice. I guess we should just wait here for now. <laughs> okay, let's just wait here. Ah. Uh, huh? You heard that? I heard something go... Like I said, I'm psychic. What? Oh yeah, I was thinking that, wasn't I? 
Come on, I'm just kidding. Seriously, I have amazing intuition. Uh, yeah. Is it really just intuition? It's kind of sudden, I know, but here comes the tutorial. Tutorial time! Six episodes in. Right now, I like to talk about reactions. You're going to be talking to Sayaka, right? Yep. Well, while you're talking to her, some purple words are going to appear. Here's how they work. I gotta press Y. Wait, do I gotta press Y and then A? Uh, wait. Uh, I'm pressing buttons here. Uh, hold on, it might be my controller. There it goes, yeah, I pr I, my controller came up, for a second. Okay. So I gotta press Y and then A. Oh, are you feel familiar with reactions? Okay, so wait, what? Well, just in case, let me explain. When purple words show up, if you press the Y button, you'll go into reaction mode. Okay, reaction mode, got it. At this point, you can use the directional buttons to make a selection and the A button to confirm it. Also, when it comes to that dialogue, you can review whatever you talked about to look for more info. Gotcha. Talking to someone about things like this is called a reaction. Gotcha. Okay, do your best to enjoy your ever important school life. You ain't slick. Ah, have you gone and used it already? Well, that's just wonderful. You are not slick, tutorial. Make sure you keep it in mind as the story keeps on moving forward. Gotcha. Okay, so in order to do this, the reactions, I gotta press Y. Gotcha. Y when there's purple words. Hey, um. By the way, Makoto. Huh? What is it? Um. Well, it's just... I know this is kind of continuing the self-introduction thing, but I wanted to ask you something. Let's go with that first. Continue our self-introductions? Yeah, it makes sense. Uh, um... We kind of got cut off before, but I had a question I wanted to ask you. Oh, okay. Yes, yes, just ask it already. <laughs> what it is, now I'm really curious. What is it? Wait, I talked to you hey, again? Um... By the way, Makoto? Wait, did you not ever ask me the question? Huh? What is it? Um... Well, it's just... Oh, I got actually had to, uh... Do it separately, okay. What'd you want to ask me? Hmm. Makoto, did you happen to go to Black Root Junior High? Wait, what? Were you maybe in Class 2? Wait, what? Yeah, actually I was. Wait, what? Wait, what? Question, what did I have to... Why do I have a feeling I know what this has to do with? Ah. I knew it! Hmm? I went there too. I was in class four though. Do you remember me? Huh? Wait, so we're not really classmates per se? Do I remember? No, I don't remember everything, especially after Mondo knocked me out. Even back in middle school, she was a celebrity with all kinds of ultimates surrounding her. How could I forget? Almost as surprising as her question was that she remembered me. Da. We'd never even talked to each other, but somehow she still knew who I was. Hey, um. Hey, are you okay? Oh yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm just astonished that you remember who I am. Oh yeah, I'm just surprised is all close enough. I wouldn't if I thought you remember me. <laughs> we went to the same school three for three years. Of course I'd remember. I barely remember who I went to school with when I, when I went to school. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I remember a lot about my past school experiences. Fun times. Well, that's true. But there were lots of students in our grade, right? Plus, I've never been the type of person to really ever really stand out. I'm average at everything. And all my hobbies are totally normal. Even normal will call me boring. Wow. Normal is a dick. Aww. What are you talking about? Da. Nah. You're so strange. I'm the ultimate strange guy. Strange? That's... <laughs> wow, thanks, Sayaka. I don't know how to feel about this. She started giggling even louder. That somehow mysterious smile of hers made my heart grow calmer. Really, now. Her smile was the nicest smile I'd ever seen. That's good. Anyways, I'm really glad that I know somebody here. Aww. That's, that's nice. Ah. Talking to you has made me feel a lot better about all this. 
You're amazing, Makoto. Da. I like Sayaka. No, I'm really not. Makoto, you're too humble. I'm nothing at all compared to all you ultimates. <laughs> but you're the one that helped me find my courage again. Not any of those ultimate students. Thank you for saying that. I am the ultimate sympathetic person. Okay. I guess. And to thank you for helping me out, I'm going to become your ultimate assistant. Wait, what? Huh? My assistant? Wait, what? I'm cool. <laughs> yep, I'm your assistant now. Well, I'm cool with this, actually. I'm going to help you out as much as I can, so let's get out of here together. Ah, I like Sayaka. When she says things like that, it... It just gets me pumped up! Ha ha! Which is nice, but still. Damn it! <laughs> Don't get pumped up only to bring me back down, game. Everyone else is still late. Besides that, I don't even know what time it is right now. Yeah, you see, it's time unknown. Can we can we get a clock, please? There must be a clock around here somewhere. So wait, I actually gotta look at the clock to find out the time? How dare I use such archaic methods? It's right here, by the way. Um, so what time is it right now? That's a good question. I don't see any sort of, you know, hands on that time on that clock. What? Seven o'clock at night? Wait, what? Really? Uh, um. You were unconscious. <laughs> Thank you, Sayaka. <laughs> For a pretty long time. I see. Without being able to look out a window, I've lost all sense of time. Okay, it makes sense. I have to stay in this place for too long. I might just go crazy. Hey, um. I can't believe no one's here yet, but I'm sure they'll start showing up soon. Almost like he timed it. Ta Taka threw open the dining hall doors right as Sayaka said that. Oh yeah, it makes sense. Hey! Ah, Makoto, Sayaka! So you two got here first, huh? Yeah, basically. How unfortunate. Too bad. I was sure I'd beat everyone here. Nah, you're, you're a little slow, buddy. <laughs> I guess that just means I don't have enough fighting spirit yet! I must fight Hara! Got it! Well, I won't give up. Next time, I'll swear I'll win, no matter what it takes. Just to always prevail. Are you... What? No. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think? Yeah, thank you, Sayaka, for, you know, basically saying exactly what I was trying to say. And soon after that, everyone else came strolling in one after another. After a few minutes, everyone had gathered in the dining hall. Okay, it looks like everyone's here. Time to start the meeting. Why do I have a feeling there are more people in here than just, than what we currently see? Let's all go around and share what we found out during our respective investigations. The sooner we find out what's going on, the sooner we get out of here. Hold on a sec. Hmm. What are you talking about? What's wrong? It's a good question. What happened? Hmm. What about, uh, what's her name? You know, the silver-haired girl. <sighs> oh, oh yeah, Kyoko. Yeah, where is Kyoko? I had a feeling there was somebody missing. Hmm. What about her? What do you mean, what about her? Aww. She's not here. <sighs> what? You just now noticed that, Kyo- I mean, Taka. Taka, please. I took another look around the dining hall. Sure enough, she was nowhere to be seen. Makes um... sense. I wonder where she went. Has anyone seen her? Uh, no, I haven't. But everyone just shook their heads. Huh? Wait, so nobody's seen her? Why hasn't Kyoko shown up yet? Could it be because... Yes, indeed. Stabbing, strangling, bludgeoning, crushing, hacking, drowning, igniting. How you do it doesn't matter. You must kill someone if you want to leave. It's as simple as that. Wait, what? Really? <laughs> the rest is up to you. Give it your all to achieve the best outcome in the worst way possible. Is it possible? Was she really... No, no, I'm just overthinking things. Indeed. <laughs> Darn it, Kyoko! You're really gonna be late like this on the first day of school? Uh, no, it's not that she's dead she just doesn't give a flying fuck not only is she late she didn't tell anyone she would be late a most unbecoming personality trait come on 
You're being a real jackass right now. You know, wait, are you talking to me or Taka? <clears throat> well, what do you want me? Oh, yeah, Taka, okay. I thought I did something wrong. Well, what do you want me to do? Punctuality is everything. You hear me? Now then, I declare that the first session of the Hope Speak Academy briefing meetings has begun. Um. Makoto, actually, first of all, I've talked enough. Maybe we should listen to what everyone else has to say. Wait, what? You didn't say anything yet. Okay, let's do that. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. Huh? What's up? What do you mean? What did I do? <laughs> I feel like I really have become your personal assistant. Don't you agree? Oh, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I may not be the best assistant in the world, but I'll give it everything I've got. No, you already done so much as my assistant. Yep, you've done enough. But next time on Danganronpa, we're going to figure out what's going on. Because right now... Oh, no, I don't want to explore. I'm going to go X. Okay. Next time on Danganronpa, we're going to continue on and actually ask more students what's going on. And hopefully, we'll find Kyoko and try to figure out what she's doing. Till then, Heji out. Bye, yo.